Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tremaine and you're watching Talking Cars with T. So firstly, apologies that there hasn't been a video in such a long time. It's been torrential rain in the beautiful city or mother city of Cape Town. And as you know, I don't drive my personal uh, collection in the rain, so I'm certainly not going to drive someone else's car in the rain, which means this is not my car. So for this episode or for this video, I'd, I've decided to change things up, up a bit and take a break from filming my personal collection of cars and show you something different. This is actually my friend's sister's car. So yes, to my friend, uh, your sister drives a monster of a car whilst you're driving an SUV. Just a little <laughs> subtle jab for you there, but uh, on a serious note, uh, this is a really, really special car. And, and, and you know how I feel about special cars. So I think Without any further uh, delay, let me reveal to you the brand spanking new, not even one week old, 2020 Audi RS4. So this is dressed in Navarro blue, as they call it, with the black leather interior with red accents uh, so some red stitching um, and some red lighting going on in the vehicle it's it's really big i must be honest with you it's a it's a massive car as you can see it it, it takes up a hell of a lot of space in the garage but what a fantastic buy i mean congratulations to you um, on on this fantastic achievement and I think let's go ahead and let's start talking about this uh, 331 kilowatt monster. And I'll take you through the interior, uh, exterior. We'll go for a drive and, and tell you a little bit more about the car and tell you a little, little bit about a story. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy. <laughs> into the RS4 we've got the fantastic illuminated side soles here coming up and you've got these bucket seats with the RS logo right here and then moving into the cabin further I mean just look at this absolutely magnificent that is what you call a cockpit as such fighter jet cockpit that's exactly what this looks like Here we've got the alcantara steering wheel and that electronic cluster as you can see on the side is your temps of your water your oil temperature your fuel and you've got your torque meter your power meter of course showing you when boost and we've got the rev counter with the fantastic rs4 logo there the kilometers come up there and the drive mode of course is there as we move further into the interior we've got all this little gadgets and pretty much everything is just a matter of a touch so as you can see here all i'm doing is just placing my finger there and it's picking up everything uh, you don't need to go ahead and actually press that moving on further here you've got the alcantara gear shift again and uh, I just love badges. Why do I love badges that much? Um, and of course the RS logo on the mat and the Quattro sign over there. And it, it's really, really such a, a fantastic interior. Of course the screen is, is completely touch screen. But this is absolutely magnificent. Coming back here. 
the steering wheel. So take a look at this reversing or backup camera. You've got a couple of views here. Obviously on this one, you've got your normal um, rear view, but on this side here, you've got a aerial view. So just take a look at, as I back the car up, you'll see it moving here. That's fantastic. And uh, of course, you know, when you, when you park the car, when you put it into park, uh, you've also got a uh, front camera. So there you go, that changed. Now that's a front view and aerial view and we push it back into reverse. Of course, you've got your backup camera and it's, it's brilliant. I mean, I, as, as, as big as this car is, these are the type of um, driver aids one needs. The engine bay, it's a 2.9 liter V6, like I mentioned, 331 kilowatts, 600 newton meters of torque. Absolutely menacing. Yes, indeed, unmistakably Audi. Welcome to the interior of the 2020 RS4. And the first thing you're probably wondering is, oh, why am I wearing these gloves? Well, the thing is, with this car, it's got an Alcantara steering wheel and a few bits within the interior. And these tend to, to wear off over the years. So if you've been watching my channel and seen all my other vehicles, you probably know that I have a severe sense of OCD and I'm exceptionally pedantic. So I don't even want to cause any wear to the steering wheel at all while I'm test driving this car. The driver and, and owner of this vehicle, she took delivery, I think it's roughly six days ago, and the car's got, uh, you know, not more than 300 kilometers on it. And this is the first brand new car uh, that I've driven. Um, and it's definitely the car with the lowest mileage that I've ever driven. You know, just coming back to the interior of it, I just love how everything is so driver focused, you know. Everything is just simply at, at your fingertips. And although it's got 331 kilowatts, it's a monster. It's so easy to drive. As you can see, I'm here in the suburbs and it's so effortless. And, and that's what you gotta love about this car. You know, the owner, she she's a mum of two. And I can only imagine what school runs are like. You know, imagine just pulling up to school in an RS4 and your two little girls jump out uh, as they get older in life and, and you know they they move into high school and so forth and kids become more familiar about cars i can i can only imagine what the conversations are going to be like once they get into the school to say oh wow your mom drives an rs4 or whatever the next car is at at that time you know it's an ultimate um mommy's car you know being in an, an avant uh, although we're saying mommy's car, it will probably give every single car out there a, a good, good run for its money. that we sort of bring the car home uh, this is Audi Center in Cape Town in Century City and this is where this magnificent Navarro Blue 2020 RS4 was delivered to the owner 
it, in the sunlight this paint looks absolutely smashing we're sitting on a 20 inch rims and we've got some 275 30 20s all around it's a full square setup uh, for that uh, four-wheel drive but in this um, in this setting over here it just makes one sit back and think you know you work so hard in life and these are, are the fruits of it but uh, yeah so cool bringing this particular vehicle home as a such. bit of a walk about uh, we spoke about the 20 inch rims a uh, short while ago and you'll see a lot of black uh, gloss black accents on the side soles and uh, the wing mirrors as well as on the rear apron on the bumper uh, this particular car has the gloss uh, black package as such um, which it, it really makes that blue stand out you know um, I, I was saying to to a friend of mine who's actually the brother um, of the owner of this car that I, I particularly like the silver accents because I just think the silver uh, makes the car stand out a little bit more but now seeing the black um, I definitely can understand their choice it looks magnificent the car is uh, going in for a detail so if you're seeing a, a couple of swirls and and so forth you know it's strange that a brand new car like this gets delivered from the factory this way but the car is going in for a full detail and um, some ceramic coating which will really make that blue uh, absolutely pop around uh, the rear of the vehicle we've got these twin pipes here these oval shaped exhaust and when you put it into sport mode another flap opens up which just releases a little bit more sound and gives it a little bit more grunt and uh, of course uh, the infamous rs4 badging and uh, just to put a bit of tongue in cheek uh, take a look at the sign <laughs> i think let me just tell you a little bit of a story you know i love telling stories to you guys about uh, the owner of this car and, and how things come about in life so she like myself and like many of you don't come from money and don't come from wealthy families as such she's pretty much under the age of 40 married mom of two still studying uh, to give you an idea the reason I'm actually able to shoot the car today is because she's busy studying and she's studying for her MBA she's a director of a company of course she's female and I love these stories about empowerment about people who come from not having much or not having anything at all and able to one day buy a car like this that costs 1.3 million rand let that sink in just a little and, and, and I'll say this time and time again uh, your car or uh, your possessions it does not determine whether you're successful or not successful it should not determine your wealth but I think the whole journey of becoming somebody and the whole journey of of your life of growing and if you're a car person a car definitely plays a a massive part of that so you know just to once again tell those out there she, she's under 40 she's still studying so the, the journey never really stops if you really want to become somebody and if you really want to if I can say prove the doubt is wrong it, it, it never really stops but that's just some some insight into her. her her brother and I are actually really good friends and I must give a massive shout out to him uh, thank you for arranging this vehicle and um, I, I genuinely really appreciate it as we drive past Lamborghini um, but yes thank you so much JP for arranging this for me and um, you know from what I understand uh, it's only going to get bigger and better from here and and just to give you an idea her previous car to this uh, also was an Audi uh, it was the S3 so you can see what's happening here you know S3 four-door RS4 Avant uh, you can kind of see where this is going but uh, that's a little bit of a story about her and uh, and and once again I must also say thank you to her for affording me the opportunity to, uh, to drive the car but let's just gear down to here and give it our last pull mm. Mm. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Get in there. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Puts a smile. And, and although I'm a massive BMW fan, it, you, you have to give the props where it's due. And uh, I think Audi has put out a spectacular product here. Yes, it's not naturally aspirated. Yes, it's not a V8. Yes, it doesn't have that grunt. But it's it's where the world is going now. You know, we're talking about being efficient. And uh, this, this is definitely the future. And I think if this is the start of the future, it's only going to get better from here. So well done uh, on your vehicle and many, many happy, safe journeys in it. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this brand spanking new Audi RS4. And, and once again, for all the dreamers out there, if, if someone else can do it, you can do it as well. Guys, please, uh, I, I quickly want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel. Uh, just this week, we hit 100 subscribers and we've got you know a good couple of thousand views. So thank you so much for that. If, you've ha if you haven't smashed the like button uh, on this video, please go ahead and do that and check out my two videos before this and definitely go ahead and subscribe guys so that we can get more and more of these vehicles so that you can see it in depth. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Once again, congratulations um, on the RS4 to my friend's sister and many, many safe journeys and, and experiences. Thanks again for watching Talking Cars with 